What's up guy, you've got the Oracle there, back for round one of this Oath of the Gatewatch draft with a sweet Esper deck. Uh, my hand is a bit slow, but I think I'll still keep it. Uh, yeah, honestly it is a bit slow, but I could very well draw 2 drop and uh, 3 drop. And I should be fine unless my opponent makes a really, really aggressive start. So I'm going to keep that. It is a bit risky, but I feel like, you know, having four lands as well as spells that I can cast is good enough that I'm going to keep that. If I would, if I knew the matchup and, for example, knew that the opponent is playing a very aggressive deck, I could play differently. But with no information, I feel like keeping that is fine. The opponent doesn't have a two drop, which is great for me. And I drew sweep away, which is also great news for me. So now I feel quite confident about my chances um, in this game. I drew a swamp, which you know is fine. Uh, and I guess I'll pass the turn. So given the fact that the opponent made a really slow start, my hand suddenly become really good. It was a bit uh, medium before that, but now it, it's really good. And off those five land, I can cast anything on my deck, which is also really, really sweet. No real reason to sweep away that now. Um, well, drawing the cleric earlier on would have been nice, but I guess I'll just play vampire there. Um, next turn I can vampire plus surge the the avenger though, which is uh, sweet. We are playing green black apparently. Not sure what it means. Uh, I guess we'll see. If the opponent attack there, should I block or not block? What is my game plan? Um, I guess you can use that once each turn. Hmm. Does he have a trick? Do I care if this dies? Not too much actually. I think I'm fine blocking. If he has a trick, well, he has a trick. He might not be able to play uh, something else if he, you know, does use that. Uh, a natural endurance is fine. Uh, as I drew another Sphinx, which is decent. Um, guess I guess I'll add white, play that uh, War Priest. The reason behind blocking is that first, um, I have other flyers, so you know, I don't think I need that too too much. It would be a decent synergy with that, but <coughs> I feel fine letting my opponent use his trick, and he wasn't able to play anything else, so it is just fine for me. Here I'm definitely taking the damage though. Corrupted Crossroad, interesting. So we are playing the colorless uh, green black deck. Um, I have quite a decent amount of options next turn, depending on what the opponent does. Uh, I guess he's swinging in for two there, maybe three. And I guess I play a six drop now since he didn't pump the stoking drone. That would be my guess. Pathfinder. Alright, well that's fine. Um... Let's play this land and attack with the Avenger and I think what I'll end up doing is just sweep away the Pathfinder and analysis uh to draw card. I don't I think it is just a better play than just casting the Sphinx without surge available. Uh, I could also sweep away in hand. But by doing that, I lose a card in terms of card advantage, which I do not appreciate too much. Uh, so yeah, I'll just stick to, to that play there. Um, okay, let's bounce that thing. And, you know, it gives me a good opportunity to, to cast that for a surge cost, which is nice too. Uh, Alright. As I guess I will take two or maybe three, depending on what the opponent does. I guess too. This is not the best news because it means that uh, the opponent have some business and that 
uh, he or she is likely to cast something big there. A uh, seven drop would be rather annoying. Yeah. Okay, that card is nearly NDB NB table. So I guess I will most likely lose to that. And now I really need to find a way to raise my opponent. Um, those were a good draw. Uh, all right. Okay, let's attack first. Kind of want to keep the slip through space to be able to attack uh, when the opponent doesn't have blocker available. Um, I can cast Glider but not Avenger unfortunately. Could also just cast the uh, Jor Isle Avenger. It provides me with a better clock. Um, like just casting that without surge. Kind of want to keep that around for uh, potential lethal damage later on. Uh, th this is gonna make <laughs> make me unable to win the game quite quickly unfortunately. That card is incredibly busted and nearly unbeatable. I have a two turn cl clock of my flyers though which you know could be good as well as a, another flyer in hand and, and a slip through time. I still think that things could go really wrong for me quite quickly. This this, this card is, is very, uh, <laughs> very, very good. My opponent will most likely cast a Pathfinder there. Not a whole lot I can do about that and draw a card of it. Yeah, <laughs> that's the start of uh, the beginning of the end basically for me. They just need a few removal, and I'll I will not be able to you know fight the amount of uh, creature they will have. Okay, Bailout now just drawing a card, not getting anything back. That's gonna kill me very quickly though. Mm, sure. As long as my opponent doesn't get a removal, I think I I can win. Uh, but a single removal would make my chances of winning quite slim. Alright. I drew Cloud Manta, which is very nice. Well, now it is more likely that I can win, actually. I think I'll sleep through space now. It feels like a fine play to make. Um, I need to have a blocker next turn though. No, not really actually. Uh, I guess I'll attack for 8. Uh, play my Manta and pass the turn. Well, I might win this game. Flyers are good. The opponent doesn't need a whole lot to come back. Actually, he needs quite. Uh, he needs a remo. Okay, that's th that's a blocker and a, a, a draw. So we'll see how it goes. This and a removal means I lose. I think. Yeah, yeah. I, I this and a removal means I lose the game. Or two of those uh, would seal the deal for my opponent seems to be thinking about his play right now so he might not have top decked uh, the removal or other creature he needed and I guess I'll just take 12 there uh, if he doesn't attack with stoking drone it's great news for me though because it means that they need a blocker uh, we'll see how it goes I like that uh, and I guess I will go to 5 there. Not a whole lot I can do about that. Uh, I have no intent of blocking. So you can use your ability. Alright. Well, first thing first, I'll... That was a very good draw. It means that the opponent is dead if he just... Uh, took one of the three power creatures. That was a, a sweet top deck, even though it doesn't look very strong 
just right now. The cleric makes it, I can kill my opponent out of pretty much nowhere. Especially since, you know, Esper color doesn't pack a lot of burn spell most of the time. So now I'm quite sure that the opponent is dead, because he needs to find a way to deal with both uh, things. Uh, okay, it's, that's decent, but that's not going to be enough, given I top deck that. Um, and even then, let's say I didn't top deck that. Uh, in this case, I'd be able to keep the rolls thing to kill that. I could jump here. I would still die. I would die to both of those. I can, th that top deck was quite sick and lucky. I'm quite lucky to get that here. Did not really, did not really think about that one. Anyway, that should be game. <laughs> Kind of stole. I mean, steal this game because, uh, as I mentioned, uh, <laughs> thousands of times, uh, Zendikar Resurgent is quite sick. Um, so I don't think I could have won. Uh, all right. Well, that was not <laughs> that was not too easy uh, to win. I guess Isolation Zone does answer Zendikar Resurgent. That aside, I don't have much. Um, yeah, I don't think I really want to side in anything. I don't think my opponent is playing a slow enough deck that uh, Brilliant Spectrum is going to be great. Mm. Alpha Protector doesn't seem too, too amazing though. Uh, I guess... Because if you can cast this for 3, it is decent, and for 4, it becomes even quite good. Um, I, I will just keep the deck the way it is, and we'll see how it goes. If the opponent proves to be a bit slower than I anticipated, um, I might side in that uh, card draw spell in. We'll see. Anyway, this this game I'm on the on the draw, which makes a card draw spell a bit worse. Anyway. Ugh. All right. Well, that was <laughs> that was a nice top deck and a, an interesting game. Uh, yeah, Zendikar Resurgent. I have played it a few times. It was broken, and here the opponent played it and just barely missed on the on the win, uh, mostly because of a top deck I made. Um. Anyway, he or she is a uh, choosing whether I want to play first or not um, or maybe they just went for a coffee or something not sure uh, if this goes a bit longer I might just pause a video otherwise I will wait a bit overall I would say that this matchup is decent for me as I have a, a decent amount of removal the thing is um, Zendikar Resurgent just change up things a lot because it means that my opponent can just outcard advantage me quite easily. Uh, I have an answer for that though in Isolation Zone. But that card is just uh, very threatening. My hand was good by the way. Uh, Alpha Protector is kind of medium. I mean, depending on what the opponent plays, it could be it could reveal good or not. We we'll see. Uh, if he has a stoking drone, at least I'll be able to block that, which is nice. Uh, otherwise, this might reveal uh, not too good. And Tangler was not uh, a bad draw. Not sure that I'll be able to attack with that efficiently for a lot, but you know, depending on what the oven does and what kind of draw he has, uh, this could deal a few important damage. Alright, stocking drone. Cannot really attack now. <coughs> um guess I'll just play my protector. Not much else I can do. If the opponent wants to attack and use a trick to kill my protector, it is fine. Otherwise I have a fairly good uh defenses. Not doing much yet, that's the issue. But if with a few more lands I can start playing my flyer and those seemed quite good um, 
in the last game so I would expect them to be good too there. I should worry a bit about um, <coughs> the spider trick though. That play is fine. Uh, since I have the sweep away it is just fine. I don't care about that too too much. And I drew a plane which is nice. Cannot recast really match though. Guess I will attack with protector. Uh, if he wants to trade the lagak for it, it's fine. I, I think he's likely to just block with that, or maybe mm, to no block at all. Uh, we'll see. It might induce him in thinking that I have a plus two plus two trick too, which could be interesting. Uh, he blocks there, all right. Um, anyway feel like just passing the turn back to the opponent and sweeping away that is going to be great just because he will have to use one mana, I mean he is likely to use one mana and also uh, it just negates the lagak effect quite a lot and lagak is negated by the presence of the protector so it's just a very uh, good sweep away for me um, so I guess I'll block there I'll sweep away that thing and that will just be quite good for me as I mentioned a few times already uh, unless the opponent randomly plays some blue counter spell which is not very likely uh, this should go well alright so we basically got rid of one and a half card I would say uh, since Lagak is quite uh, you know, it's quite uh, medium now that the uh, opponent lose the stocking drone, it boosted. Uh, it might just trade for the Entangler there, and that would be fine, I guess. I would not mind that too much. He might have a trick too. But using a trick against the mana I have open there is quite risky. So I'm not sure that the opponent would actually do that. Especially since, you know, he or she is at 20. Uh, if he blocks and uses a trick, I would call that uh, a bad play. Just because it is unnecessary and you could get 2 for 1 very easily. Anyway, I'll anticipate there. If I could get an island, it'd be great. Uh, and I guess I should have used that first, actually. I'm quite stupid. I forgot about the Entangler. Uh, anyway, I missed one damage there, which is a bit stupid. Uh, but I got my island, which is very nice, so I can cast my flyer now. Yeah, the opponent should be at 16. And as we saw, one damage uh, ma can matter a lot. So, yeah, that was quite dumb. On the other hand, by uh, playing the Anticipate, I showed to my opponent that I um, don't have a trick. But he didn't block. Yeah, I have no excuses. That that was just quite bad not to to play that. Not sure. Uh, this this is just uh, me not paying enough attention. And there's not much else to say. Um, at this point, I guess I'll start attacking with my Avenger. We'll see if this one damage mattered in the end. If the opponent has the spider trick there, again, it would be very risky against the mana I have access to. There's a lot of things that could 2 for 1 you. So I would not do that. Now he might still do it. Guess we'll see. No, he did not. He might have something though. Or maybe he is just bluffing. Uh, I guess we'll see. I'll keep white open to represent a potential um, little man's of focus and pass the turn. <coughs> Don't think the opponent is missing on mana since he has settlement. He can have black if needed. Not sure what he does have in hand, he or she. Um, anyway, currently my I'm in a decent uh, spot. Uh, he might play a uh, silent skimmer there would be my guess. Uh, because of the black man I used just to have a blocker for my Sphinx that would make sense 
strike on the glider is uh, fine. There's not a whole lot of thing I can do about that. Good news is I can attack with uh, my ground creatures now. I drew analysis, which is nice, so I can play the site master and surge that. And again, I will just attack. Um, it might be that the opponent has the 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 reach uh, trick. There's not too much I can do about that. I will just not stay there, not doing anything. He does have that and choose to play it. Well, as I mentioned, it is quite risky, but I think it will just be able to eat my uh, things there, unfortunately. There's not a whole lot I can do, though. As we trade there, which is fine. Um, and this time, not playing my spells first uh, was right, because I... I, I, w I you know, maybe representing representing some sort of um, of trick or counter spell would have been uh, important. Anyway, the opponent chose to use uh, to use his thing, which is fine. Not too much I could have done about that. And I guess I'll draw a card there. I drew two spell, which is very uh, sweet for me. And I guess I have a, a bit of a better board, but not too too much as the opponent as um, a bit more card. Pilot Null is gonna get back the Lagak, which is good for the opponent. Not a whole lot of thing I can do about that though. I'm likely to use Grip uh, to be able to attack with the Sight Master. This means I have a, a three turn clock of the Menta. Um, hmm. I'd rather have drawn an untapped land, but actually it doesn't matter. I can cast the menta first and surge after afterwards, so never mind me. I almost cast the grip trying to get uh, an untapped land. That would have been quite bad. Alright, and I also have uh, the wilds now for my vampire, which is sweet. So I guess I can just attack with my sight master. And that puts the opponent down to um, 9, which is not a lot. Again, this game is not going to be, you know, it's not just uh, one people winning and the other one crying. Uh, it's going to be quite tight. Um, depending on what he has, I might be able to just out-tempo him with my flyers. Given he already played the removal and the vines, I feel like I have chances of uh, winning with that. We'll see how it goes. Um, this and the other creature he has might overwhelm me quite quickly though if I cannot kill him with my flyer. Playing a vampire next turn and maybe something else. Um, yeah, we'll see how it goes. The opponent is thinking about this, his play now which means that he might have something better to do than playing a lagak. Which is uh, not the best news for me. Something like a silent skimmer would just shut off my attack and be quite bad for me. Place a translator there. That's actually fine. Uh, yeah, I guess that's fine. Just fetch a swamp there. As I don't have many more lands left. Um, guess I will just um, attack with Menta there. No real reason to do something else. Uh, and I will probably keep my land in hand and try to, you know, represent some sort of uh, things going on. Uh, we'll see how it goes. If my opponent has another vine. Uh, it could be bad, but there again, there is just not much I can do if the opponent just has the answer to my cards, basically. Um, guess I'll tap my mana this way, so I can, you know, potentially have a counter spell there. Doesn't matter too too much, though. I have quite fast clock there, but the opponent just needs uh, a blocker or removal to come back in this game quite efficiently. Uh, Spider is gonna do a good job for him. Uh, guess I still have uh, 
mediumly fast clock, I would call that, of uh, the vampire, because I think my opponent is blocking the... I actually can block the, the, the vampire and I cannot, which would mean I cannot um, kill the spider. And he does attack with the bill out there. Sure. Guess I'll take four. No real reason not to. Yeah. I'm gonna take four here. If I draw a land, what do I do? Sunken Hollow. Well, that's a land. <sighs> so I could put my opponent down to three, then he's dead to a removal spell. And I lose my vampire. Could also just attack with the Menta, make the trade and start attacking afterwards. Um, that's quite interesting, honestly. The bad news is that I'm dying quite quickly once he will have played a Lagak. Also... I feel like I have to make this attack and hope I top deck a removal. I have a decent amount of them. I also have grip of the roll uh, in my deck. So I'm just gonna make this attack. He might just block there, uh, but the best block is here, obviously. Uh, and I guess, yeah, I, I'll put my opponent down to three. And now he's basically dead to any removal spell. And I think this is my best shot at winning this game. Not too, too uh, great, but still it should still be my the, the 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 best thing I can f I can make I think. I guess I'm getting hit for quite a bit there. Um, as the opponent will most likely lagak, drone and uh, translator. Maybe. Maybe not. Spider. That feels a bit weird since he doesn't want to attack with the spider. Not sure. I think he has a faster clock and this doesn't need to be bigger, honestly. I will not attack till I don't have a removal anyway, so... Uh, Alright, I'm, I'm fine with that. I did not really expect uh, Saddleback to target those. Especially since, you know, if I have a removal, the, the first thing I want to target is spider, so you, you'd rather put your counter on, on something that's less uh, less important mm, I guess he has a blocker now though uh, not sure how much it matters I'm quite glad that I attack with both uh, since he chose to pot that was another uh, reason to attack with both just to deal the three because uh, after that I would have I wouldn't have been able to attack very efficiently anymore um, Alright, that's fine. Guess I'm taking 8 there. There's not a whole lot I can do about that. Um, and I drew a Rawls Retribution. Which is not great, but not uh, good either. I can actually use it on the spider so I can win next turn. Yeah. Alright, I, I think that's the my best shot at winning actually. And then next one I block those two, take six, and probably win with my Menta. We'll see how it goes. Um, could I actually attack with the Sight Master too? Given the world's retribution, I, and I could distribute damage quite efficiently. Um, so four there, one here, so this dies. Then. I take 7 on my turn. Alright. Uh, this attack is not very... <laughs> it's quite obvious what I have in hand. The question is, should I still attack with that? Uh, yeah, 
I cannot afford to take the damage, so he will have to sacrifice one of his creature. So yeah, I feel like it is fine. And a fat protector, yeah, I can also afford to attack with that actually. Unless the opponent has some sort of trick, it should be fine for me. And anyway, if the opponent has a trick, I'm not winning this game. So there is that too. <coughs> all right, all right. So, if the opponent just has land in hand, I like my chances. A trick kind of destroys me, though. Need to make a choice there. Okay, he will block with drone. There's not much he can do. I don't think that blocking with the saddleback accomplishes a whole lot for him. Uh, all right, all right, all right. That's fine. That is actually fine. <coughs> Sure. All right. No problem. No block. <laughs> uh, yeah, maybe you want the, to block the protector in case I have a burn spell. I mean, uh, some sort of... If he makes that block, that's great for me. I think my opponent is trying to play um, around a potential... Um, Um, pump spell, but uh, it doesn't play around the world's retribution. So I think I will win this game mostly because the opponent didn't play around the right card. Um, we we'll see how it goes, though. Um, all right. Uh, yeah, you would not expect. I mean, you you would not expect that offensively m uh, very often. Uh, on the other hand, he might just have a trick of his own, and I might get blown back. Uh, but I think he played around a uh, potential little amount of focus there. Uh, and that's going to be very bad for him if he did so. Yup. Alright, so I basically 3 for one him there. Quite nice. <laughs> Quite nice use of Rolf's Retribution. Anyway. I'm not out of the... Out of the... Out of my issues yet. If the opponent just has a rim wall, he can kill me actually. Not sure how wise it was to attack with everything. On the other hand, if I don't attack, I don't make the trades and a rim wall also kills me. But I guess that's gonna be game. And um, yeah, that last attack was quite interesting. I definitely top decked uh, very well both game. Uh, World's Retribution and the Vampire Game 1 were great. Uh, anyway, I hope you enjoyed uh, those games and this match, and I see you guys for round 2.